Silence Redefined, November 2014. Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and today I'll be doing an overview on this Razer Naga 2014 MMO gaming mouse. And the cool thing about this mouse is that there's a left-handed version. Ah! Also, you must be wondering, oh, I'm wearing a cardigan because it's gotten colder. Here's what you get in the box, the mouse itself, which I'll go over in more detail in just a bit. But first, let's take a look at some of the accessories or just documentation and stickers. You get a couple of these green razor stickers and uh, they're very different from the chroma stickers. Well, not that different, but just in color. <laughs> you can check that out if you want in my uh, razor chroma videos. And what else? This is the congratulations, there's no turning back notice. Yes, yes, razor, we get it. We are all part of your cult now. And what else? Exclusive rewards program to the razor faithful. See what I mean? <laughs> anyway, check this piece of paper out if you are interested about that. And you also get some quick start guides in a couple different languages. Now let's take a look at the mouse cabling. Get some braided cable, 2.1 meters or 7 feet, and you get a thousand hertz ultra polling, which helps reduce lag, which is good for mice, but not so much for keyboards. I think 200 hertz is enough for that. And it's also for PC and Mac. Before we take a closer look at the mouse, here is a look at its USB connector. I believe it is a USB 2. And now onto the mouse itself. It comes in this matte black finish with textured rubber grip on the right side, which feels a little bit odd to me because let's say I haven't used this for a little while and then I put my hand back on it, I get this sticky sensation, but it's not. Anyway, <laughs> and the fourth finger rest right here is very comfortable. I love mice that include this, really awesome. Now onto the button. Pins. So there are 20 programmable buttons and I will explain that. <laughs> so you get the left and right clicks, scroll up, scroll down, scroll tilt left, scroll tilt right, and then middle click. And then below that you get two buttons as well. And then let me turn it on to this side. You get the thumb panel buttons. Oh, so good for MMO games, by the way. And there are 12 buttons here for the action bar of your game. And these are interesting because uh, instead of the more mushier button buttons that you might feel, these are mechanical switches. So this is for more improved accuracy and the click sound lets you know when you've actuated it. And I have to admit, it is really easy to use but the downside is it's uh, also really easy to mispress because of how easy it is and the angle. It's kind of got this, uh, if I uh, tilt it this way, it's kind of got this sloping concave uh, you know, design to it. And maybe the uh, size of the buttons also contribute to the mispresses. But uh, moving right along, let's go on to the bottom of the mouse. You do get some gliding feet, and it does glide very smoothly. And also at the bottom is this uh, 8200 DPI 4G laser sensor. Here's a look at the mouse LEDs. As you can tell, the scroll wheel as well as the logo and the thumb panel are lit up. And only the logo pulsates. Or breathes. Um, and remember how earlier I was telling you about there's like actually nine buttons in this area, but you have to have a left click. Therefore, the eight buttons plus the 12 panel make 20. Here's a look at the Razer Naga 2014 mouse software, and we're going to start off at mouse and customize. This is how you create a profile. We're going to go ahead and press the plus icon and call it P1 and then P2. Now, if you wish to delete a profile, click the one you wish to delete and click the trash can icon. And you can also copy, import, or export a profile if you're sharing with someone or if you want to just try something different. And also, you can link a program to a profile so it'll launch when the program launches, and that could be really good for some. Next up is key maps. There are eight key maps and it reminds me of uh, the Orb Weaver actually. So essentially you get eight profiles with each profile and it'd be great because let's say you have like uh, World of Warcraft or some other MMO or something like that and you have uh, eight character maps that you can go through. Now then here is a front or top view of the mouse and you get nine programmable buttons but it's really eight because there has to be a left click but where the left click is you can change that around. 
Now then, here's a look at the side of the thumb panel with the 12 programmable buttons. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the top view, actually. And let's say you want to change this to a mouse function, left click, and boom, more options open up for you. <laughs> this one is no longer grayed out. But we are going to change that to the right click again. And I want to go over some of the other uh, options you get. So you can change it to keyboard function, sensitivity. Now this is where you could change up uh, your... Uh, sensitivity, X, Y, enable that, um, or you can have it go up or down or cycle and a little bit more on that in just a bit. You could also switch key map or your profile um, or there's in-game configurator and you can disable it too. There's all, just a lot of options here for you. Let's go ahead and just, uh, actually I'm not going to say that so I'll just cancel that. Um, and let's say this button. I want to make it a macro. You can create macros in this section or in the macros tab. However, here you can't delete it and here you can delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button. Now we are going to call this M1 and then you could record delay or not record delay. It's auto delay uh, and also hit record and call it QWERTY. Now that is done, hit stop and save and save once more. And you see the fourth button here is now M1. So we're going to go ahead and test that out. And there it is, QWERTY. Awesome. Uh, don't say of course. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's a look at the button assignment section. Let's go to performance, shall we? This is where you can change up your DPI have uh, XY independent or not, and configure your different stages. There's five of them that you can set your DPI to. I find between 1800 and uh, about 3000 is the most comfortable for most games. Anyway, and, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. You can change up the acceleration as well as, and the polling rate whatever your system can handle and it does matter for mice so that is a good thing now let's go to lighting you can go ahead and turn the displays off or go ahead and switch all device lighting to off when display is turned off yes go green <laughs> and then calibration you could go ahead and calibrate your mouse mats for example if you have a razor mat they have it in here for you ready so uh, that is really awesome or other mat you can go ahead and add mat and then click calibrate. Now let's go on to the macro section. This is where you can delete one. So let's say, where is that M1? Go ahead and trash that and then create another one and call this one M1. You can record auto delay or specific delay. For example, you want 500 or, or 2,500 seconds or something like that, um, or no delay at all, but we're going to do auto and then click record. Since the seasons are coming along, I feel like food, but what? Cranberry. I think I spelled that wrong. In, as in cranberry sauce. Alrighty, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and click stop. And here's something cool. You could uh, change, for example, let's say R. You could change it to B or something. And then boom, it's changed to B suddenly. You can even change the delay time to 150 or something. And boom, there it is. Not only that, you could trash it. Or let's say you want to uh, move this B up, move this B down. So let's say you made a really complicated macro and you messed up at the last bit. It's just great to be able to change things up this much. And you could also insert something and uh, you could delay before keystroke before or after. Um, and then once, let's say keystroke below, you could record it. And then let's say KL or something like that, stop. and. There's just many ways you could change up your macros. <laughs> and last but not least is the add-on. So this is the in-game configurator. Right now, the mouse has it set on, uh, let's go to customize, on the left scrollable tilt. So let's go ahead and press that button. And here we are, let's go to the mouse. So this is basically a menu that pops up when you're in game and you don't have to be kicked out of the game to use it, which is really awesome. You could change up your profiles, your key maps, as well as uh, let's say assign a different function to a key. Uh, you could even go to macro section and create a whole new macro. So I would say this is very, very helpful. Alrighty, that concludes the software portion of the Naga 2014 gaming mouse.
And now for pros and cons. So what I like about this mouse, I like that uh, it's a very comfortable. It's got a nice grip to it. And also you get 20 programmable buttons. That's sick. Hope you like the software portion. <laughs> and also uh, there's a version for lefties with a thumb panel on the right side. How insane is that? And the thumb panel is easy and fun to click due to its mechanical nature. And there's LEDs on the scroll wheel thumb pad as well as the logo. And I do like the in-game configurator software that lets you change button assignments and more in-game. Here's a look at the cons. So I would have liked to see the scroll wheel and the thumb panel breathe in conjunction with the logo. And I wish I could change the intensity of the lighting as well as have the LEDs be brighter. Also the thumb panel design allows for multiple accidental presses, which is unlike the G600 because the setup of their buttons makes it so it's, it's not so easy. Uh, and also there are no physical markers at the five and eight on the thumb panel. Um, and uh, I would have liked that to indicate where I am on there, but uh, overall it's an ergonomic mouse with a lot of features in the software um, and the lighting does need work and the thumb panels are just way too easy to press, but I like it. That wraps up the video on this Razer Naga 2014 MMO gaming mouse. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook fan page, Joanne Tech Lover Twitter, and yes, once again, Joanne Tech Lover on Instagram. I made it all Joanne Tech Lover so it would all match and be uniform. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, also please don't forget to donate so I can help expand this channel and feed this techie. And last but not least is storeenvy.com where you can purchase my 8.5 by 11 inch autograph print. So go ahead and check those out. I guess all that's left to say is mwah, see you next time.